basically we need to float the DC um, which pretty much just dis means disconnecting the the negative on the DC side from the, the cha uh, from the chassis uh, the case is always um, earthed which is um, for safety reasons obviously um, but the negative on the DC side is also connected to the, the case which means that if you just take it the positive and you touch it on the, the side of the case the power supply will short and turn off um, you might have noticed that from playing around with power supplies or computer parts um, so what we need to do um, to put them in series or to put them in parallel is to um, float the DC some people also float the AC um, I would do that only if absolutely necessary um, you know the, the, the less stuff you've got connected to to um, earth the um, the less obviously safety you've got um, so you really want to try and keep as many safety uh, measures in place as you can um, not saying that this is a safe thing to do um, because it's not but um, it's the only way you can get you can put power, uh, um, power supplies in series and it's the only way you can put them in parallel so what we need to do is we need to figure out which pins turns the power supply on we need to also figure out which, uh, which pins um, oh we also, sorry, we also need to figure out um, how to disconnect the negative from the, um, the case which will obviously by doing so it will mean that our DC will be floated in which case then we can connect two of these together um, in whatever combination you like so let's um, let's first figure out which ones of these uh, which ones of these pins turn the thing on um, I can zoom into to that just a little bit if the camera stays in the light this is where we need a camera guy um, which I normally am but hey um, so we've got about what eight pins there or however many I haven't counted um, the first thing we need to do, there's eight pins there roughly, and there's oh, back in focus. There's a whole bunch of them on the back. These ones here are our negatives, and these ones here are our positives on this power supply. Um, this is just a, this is kind of a tiny power supply in a lot of respects um, compared to the bigger ones which I've got underneath, which is has a connector like that. These ones here are far easier to work with than power supplies like this one here but hey I've done the bottom ones now we need to do the top ones so um, so first of all we're gonna what we need to do is we need to um, figure out which which pins of these are connected to ground and that way we can rule them out as pins to turn the power supply on how a power supply normally gets turned on is that one one of these pins will get grounded by grounding the pin the power supply should turn on um, normally for this power supply here um, I've done it before, so it's um, just one pin that goes to ground, which turns it on. Other power supplies, there's two pins that need to be grounded. Um, so it's just figuring out which combination. Now there isn't a uh, there's a in the RC groups. There's a whole forum on um, how to to do this. There's also um, uh, photos and bits and pieces of, of what other people have done and how they've gotten to to work, and as well as what pins to use. However, if you get a power supply that's not listed, you've got to figure it out yourself, uh, which is just the case for these these two smaller ones that I've got here. So, uh, what I did was I first went through each of these pins with a multimeter to the case and to f and figured out which ones of these pins were just grounded. In which case, you can rule them out. Um, and I did that for the bottom, and I did that for the oh, for the bottom as well. Oh, we're back in focus. There we go. Um, and what it turned out to be is that um, the in the in pins here, this this second one in, the second pin, and the first pin needed to be grounded together, um, which turns the power supply on. So that was fantastic. Um, the next step is um, isolating the ground for the DC from the case so um, what we need to do for that is first open it up I'll put that there um, so what I've done here is I've opened this this I've just taken the top off it um, and without touching anything in in here you don't you, don't, you know you for safety reasons you don't really want to be taking this uh, the board out of the case you want to be doing as little as possible to it to achieve the goal that you've got and the goal is to isolate the DC ground as a starting point um, so what 
I've got down that normally at the front of these power supplies and they're normally almost identical especially with the HP ones um, you'll notice that the, the, the two screws in there um, screw one and screw two um, screw through the board and they those two there are the ones that actually connect it to um, to ground so if I get my multimeter right so I've got my multimeter now if I currently just connect the side of the case to the ground which is actually the bottom part of this power supply so if I touch that on the bottom set of three pins to the side of the case um, you can hear the multimeter makes that stupid noise which this multimeter is a bit flat but um, it makes that noise so you know that there's connectivity between the DC ground and the side of the case what we need to do obviously is to, to disconnect that and by taking these two screws out here and by lifting the board up while it's still in its case so these are the only two screws I've touched if I lift this up touch the bottom of the, of the, the DC negative um, this is just a fiddly power supply to work with um, and use the camera but hey um, now if I touch the side of the case absolutely nothing no beeping if I touch the inside and I might just go charge my multimeter in a sec um, but yeah negative inside negative outside nothing so by doing so we've isolated the or floated the DC um, if I put that back down again then the, it connects so what we need to do is we need to these two screws here um, are obviously sitting on um, too many wires going everywhere if I bring that into and if I bring it up here into some kind of a shot there you'll see that the board sits on top of this metal um, nut or bolt um, so what we need to do is we need to get rid of that and replace it with a nylon one or something that's not going to conduct um, we need to do that with this one here as well as the other one that's over here somewhere here so um, what I'll do is I will um, the, the easiest way to do that and what I've done for the other power supplies is to just drill that out and replace it with a nylon one right so after just um, isolating the um, the DC ground or floating the DC um, what we need to do now is we just need to check it so internal um, ground to the chassis nothing at all which is good it's good I like to make sure stick it on a whole bunch of different points nothing um, we touch the ground case, that's a negative to the case, nothing. I always like to use a screw. Nothing. Right. That's interesting. Of course. Good. Okay, so for both these two power supplies here, we've successfully floated the DC. So there's absolutely no connectivity between the, the negative of the DC and the side of the case. Uh, internally, um, there is um, to the thing, but obviously we put those nylon um, stands in there. So now there's uh, absolutely no... It's always a good idea to check multiple points of the power supply double check so that's been done um, this power supply here what I need to do is I need to wire up the um, so it's, it turns on and obviously I also need to wire up my um, my voltage um, um, with the pot to increase the voltage up to 13.7 so um, I is on this power supply here you see I started this last night I found out which one of these um, what does the voltage or the sense and then that gets wired to a pot to ground 
and then you adjust the pot and the voltage increases or decreases depending on which way you go so every power supply needs that so we can increase the voltage um, to its pretty much to its limit which is 13 uh, its limits 13.8 but we'll go to 13.7 um, so it's 13.7 times 6 um, obviously with 6 power supplies in series so I'll continue doing that and I'll come back in a minute 